Today, we are going to go over a Power Automate use case. In this scenario, you received email to a group mailbox and you want to automatically transfer the attachments to a SharePoint document library. To get started, I've already logged into Power Automate by going to office.com and selecting the Power Automate application. In the navigation on the left-hand side, you will see Create, and this is going to be an automated cloud flow that is triggered by a designated event. You'll want to give your flow a name, and I'm just going to call it Attachments to SharePoint. Next, you will need to type Groups in the Choose Your Flows trigger. And we are looking for when a new email arrives to a group in the Office 365 group mail. Select that and click Create. Click the drop down arrow so that you can see the list of groups that are available for you to choose from. In this case, I'm going to select Power Automate Demos. Then I'm going to select New Step and we need to designate an action. The one that we're looking for is Get a Thread Post. As a quick tip, you need to search for Office 365 Group Mail. If you search for just groups, you're not going to find the action Get a Thread Post. When I was creating the flow the first time, I was searching generically by groups and I wasn't finding what I was looking for. So um, hopefully this tip will save you some time. So now that we've got our Get a Thread Post, we'll click the drop down and we'll select the group ID. So where's the mail going to arrive? It's going to arrive in the same Power Automate demo group. Now we're gonna use the dynamic selection and I'm going to choose conversation thread ID to bring in the thread's unique identifier. What this is gonna do is automatically insert and apply to each into your flow. Now I'm gonna go back into get a thread post so that we can look for the post ID in the dynamic content as well. And we're gonna select post ID, which is the unique identifier to the message that's coming in. Here's another tip to look out for. This flow is going to insert a second apply to each loop automatically. And what Power Automate did is it said, look for the current item up above, but my flow kept failing. And I had to go back to the Microsoft documentation to figure out why. What you actually need to do is delete current item, go back to dynamic content, Scroll down and you need to select posts. So far, what we have is when a new email arrives to a group, gather up all the threads and the posts, and now we need to decide what are we going to do with this information. I will add an action within the second apply to each loop and type in SharePoint. And then the action we're looking for is going to be create a file. You will need to select a site address associated with the SharePoint site where you want the attachment to go. It can be a traditional SharePoint site, a group SharePoint site, or a team SharePoint site, whichever one makes sense in your situation. And then I need to pick which folder do I want the attachments to go to. Because I'm choosing to demonstrate using a team SharePoint site, I'm gonna to go to the shared documents and choose the folder associated with the general channel. Of course, you can make any choice that makes sense to you. This is just the choice I chose for this demonstration. Now I need to know something about the file name. So we're gonna use dynamic content again, and we're gonna scroll through until we find attachment name. And again, the flow is gonna automatically insert and apply to each because there might be multiple attachments in the email. And then I need to grab in the contents of the file and you will choose attachment content bytes. And now we have all of the necessary pieces so we can save the flow. What we built here is when an email arrives to a group, gather up all of the information within the email and look for an attachment. And if you find an attachment, send it to SharePoint and keep the same attachment name and the same attachment content. As always, I recommend that you test your flow and make sure that everything worked as intended and you see all the green check marks. That's how I found the error in the apply to each two step that I shared with you earlier. 
If you want to learn more about Power Automate, please see the playlist on the screen now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.